Good morning, friends. It's Miss Silvana here. Thank you for joining me today. Before we start, I would like to ask you to check in our Church Center app. Open it, and in the bottom of the screen, you're going to see the option check-in. Click there. When you open, all your family members will be showing. Click in the members that are watching the kids service and the adult service and choose the campus that you belong, San Jose or Santa Clara, and click Next, and you are ready to go. Thank you for checking, families. Do you have a favorite color? My favorite color is red. My friend Skip today is using some shades, and in our game, we are going to try to guess what color is the shade that he's going to be using. Enjoy! It's time to play Skippy's Shades. Which color do you think he will wear? Hands up for red, hands down for yellow. If you are correct, you get to stay in the game. If you are wrong, you are out. Let's go! If your hands were up for red, you can stay in the game. If your hands were down for yellow, you are out. It's time for round two. If your hands were down for yellow, you can stay in the game. If your hands were up for red, you are out. It's time for round three. Let's go, Skippy. If your hands were down for yellow, you can stay in the game. If your hands were up for red, you're out. It's time for round four. Which one will Skippy choose this time? If your hands were up for red, you can stay in the game. If your hands were down for yellow, you are out. Let's play one more round, Skippy. Pick those shades. If your hands were down for yellow and you were still in the game, you win. If you lost, thanks for playing and try again next time. It's time for Skippy to get a treat. Let's say a word of pray before we jump in our service today. When we do what you pray, friends, we put our hands together, we close our eyes, and let's go to the Lord. Dear Lord, thank you for teaching us how to be wise, how to make wise choices. Open our mind, our heart, our ears, and our eyes today for listen and see what you have for us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Let's review our goal. Our goal is to be the light of the world as Jesus taught us in Matthew 5, 16. Light stands for loving, including, generous, hope-filled, and team player. Let's show the light of God this week to the people around us. Thank you for review our goal with me. How about we move a little bit? I have a wonderful worship song for us to do together. Let's stand up and worship the Lord.
time for our offering. And our friend bucket is right here. Remember, all the offering go to our BGMC project. BGMC stands for Boys and Girls Missionary Challenge. You can still donate online through our website, battle.org slash give. You can text 84321 space amount space BGMC, or you can go to our church center app and donate. Let's say a word of prayer during the time that we are receiving our donations. Let's go to the Lord. Dear Lord, thank you for the donations that we are going to receive. Thank you for your provision, your guidance, and your wisdom for all of us, Lord, for us to do what is right in your eyes. Thank you for love and care for us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for your offering, families. Friends, are you ready for our Bible adventure? Now it's time for that. I am so excited. Let's watch this together. Let's look in the Bible to see. The Bible is God's book for you. You can trust. It's right and true. The first sin. That's from the book called Genesis. Oh, that story happened a long, long, long time ago. That's true, but it's still a real story about God's people. We can read it to learn how to live God's way and make the, the right, right choice. The first man and woman, Adam and Eve, lived in a beautiful garden that God made for them. But Satan came as a crafty serpent and tempted Adam and Eve. Did God say you must not eat the fruit from these trees? The serpent asked Eve. Just the tree in the middle, Eve replied. If we eat from it, we'll die. You won't die, said the serpent. There's a reason why God doesn't want you to eat from that tree. If you do, you'll be like him. You'll know what he knows. Eve ate the fruit. She gave some to Adam, who was with her. He ate it too. And at once, they knew things they had never known before. One thing they knew was that they were naked. They sewed leaves together to cover themselves. They'd never felt fear or shame before, so they knew something was wrong. Adam, God called. Eve. We're hiding, said Adam. We're naked. You know that because you ate from the tree, God sighed. Then Adam blamed Eve, and Eve blamed the serpent. God said, Serpent, you must crawl on your belly. A woman's son will defeat you. Eve, childbirth will be painful. Adam, growing food will be difficult. Then God made clothes for Adam and Eve and sent them out of the garden. He put an angel with a flaming sword there so they could not return. Smack and sugar snaps! God told Adam and Eve what they should do and they didn't listen! Yep, they made the wrong choice. They didn't ask God for help at all. They just did what they wanted to do. Shine, I want to know how to make the right choice. How will such a sad story help me choose God's way? <gasps> Wait a minute. Ask! That's what they didn't do. They didn't ask God. Way to go, Emily. That's the answer to the question. How do you make the right choice? I ask God. God helps me make the right choice. Friends, we'll find out more about asking God on our Bible adventure. Don't forget to watch how the picture passes will help you along the way. Will do! Say hi to Blinky for me! Come on, let's go! What? Oh, I love this story! Oh, hi, Emily! Hi, Guy! My friends and I are on a Bible adventure! We're trying to find the answer to the question, how do you make the right choice? I ask God. God helps me make the right choice. 
I know lots of Bible verses about that. We just watched a story about making the right choice from the Bible. Who was it about? Adam and Eve? Oh, they made the wrong choice. They chose to do what they wanted to do instead of obeying what God said to do. I don't want to be like that. Well, how do I know it's right? The Bible says all you have to do is ask God. He will give you wisdom. Is wisdom choosing what's right? Wisdom is knowing what's right and doing it. Oh, so if I don't know what to do, I can ask God. God will give me wisdom to make the right choice. Exactly. Huh. Do you have a picture pass about asking God? I think I do. Count with me, friends. One, two. Wait a minute. There's one missing. Friends, shake your adventure bags with me so we can get it out. <sighs> That's better. Let's try again. One, two, three. They're all there. <laughs> so, what's on your face that you use for talking? The mouth. <laughs> I ask God with my mouth. Yep, we can pray and ask God to help us make the right choice. Guy, will you please teach us a Bible verse to help us remember? Sure. <laughs> Friends, wiggle your ears if you're ready to learn the verse with me. I'm wiggling my ears. Are you wiggling yours? Okay, watch first. James 1.5. If any of you need wisdom, ask God for it. Ready to try it. All right, repeat after me. James 1 5. James 1 5. If any of you need wisdom, if any of you need wisdom, ask God for it. Ask God for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's say the whole verse together. Okay. <laughs> James 1 5. If any of you need wisdom, ask God for it. <laughs> Sunny sea monkeys, you always know the perfect verse. <laughs> if I need wisdom to make the right choice, I ask God. Well, I'm off on my Bible adventure. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you, Emily. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> Blinky, what were you doing in there? Um, hi, Shine. I was, uh, just smelling these bug bites. They're my favorite snack in the whole wide world, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. They are pretty yummy. Yeah, well, Shine? Yes, Blinky? My mom said I'm not supposed to have any more bug bites today. I already had some for my snack. Well, Blinky... You should probably stop flying inside the box and smelling them. But she didn't say I couldn't smell them. And they smell so super de duper good. You know that once you smell them, you'll want to eat some even worse. Bug bites are so delicious. You know what, Shine? I've got a good idea. What if I gave you some bug bites? You know, just to be nice and all. And then you could share them with me. Blinky, that's disobeying your mommy. That doesn't sound like the right choice at all. Oh, Shine. I just really, really, really want to eat some more. I don't think my mom would mind if I shared them with you. Friends, do you think it would be the right choice for us to eat just a few bug bites? Shine, our friends say no, but I still can't decide what to do. Bug bites are super de duper yummy. And my tummy is super de duper hungry. In the Bible story about Adam, Eve, and the first sin, Eve really wanted a bite of some special fruit from a special tree. Did her mommy tell her not to eat it? No, God told her not to eat it. But Eve didn't listen. She ate some and shared it with Adam. Then he ate it too. They disobeyed God? That's never the right choice. No, 
Disobeying God is sin. If we want to make the right choice, we have to ask God what to do and choose to do what he says. Shine. Yes, Blinky? I know the right choice to make. You want to know why? Why, Blinky? Because the Bible tells me what God says. And the Bible says to obey our parents. If my mommy says no, then I'll obey. I won't eat those bug bites, no matter how yummy they are. Then let's shut this box and quit smelling these yummy bug bites. We'll go play instead. Yeah, let's go. I feel so super de duper better inside because I made the right choice. I feel even better than if I had more bug bites in my tummy. So I can listen You made my eyes One, two So I can see You made my arms One, two So I can praise you You made my heart So I can love Every word I speak Every thought I think Everything I do up belongs to you. You made my hands One, two. for helping others. You made my feet One, two. so I can follow you. You made my legs One, two. to jump for Jesus. You made my heart so Friends and I have been practicing our question and answer on our Bible adventure. Shine, you ask us the question, and friends, you say the answer with me. Okay, 
How do you make the right choice? I ask God. God helps me make the right choice. Wee! And what about all those picture passes you took with you? Count with me, friends. One, two, three. First, we use our mouth to ask God for wisdom when we need to know what's right and wrong. <gasps> that reminds me of our Bible verse, James 1, 5. If any of you need wisdom, ask God for it. Did you find out about the ear? Yeah. When we ask God what to do, we listen and then we do it. We listen with our ears. We can listen to God with our ears, and we can listen to him with our hearts. We even hear what God wants us to do by listening to what the Bible has to say. <laughs> <laughs> I learned all of that today. But, Shine, what about the path? What does that have to do with making the right choice? God's way is the right way. When we choose the right way, we stay close to God. It's just like staying on the right path so we don't get lost. Oh, I get it now. We find God's way by staying on his path. <laughs> I want God's way to lead me wherever he wants me to go. <laughs> me too. Let's start right now by praying to God and asking him what he wants us to do. Okay. Bow your heads and close your eyes. We're gonna talk to God together. Dear God, please give us wisdom. Teach us how to listen to you and make the right choice. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <sighs> Bouncing babies, it's time to go. We'll see you next time for another Bible adventure. Bye-bye, friends. I love that we have a God that help us to make the right choice. It's so good to know that we can ask him and he'll help us to choose what is right. Friends, we have a special guest today. Miss Melissa, that was here two weeks ago, brought her husband, Mr. Dave. Together, they teach our two years old class during our 11 a.m. service. They are going to play a game. I hope you enjoy. Thank you, Miss Melissa and Mr. David, for coming and play a game with our friends. Hey, are you ready to play a game? Miss Melissa, I'm ready. Let's do this. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's do it. All right, we're going to play called uh, play a game called Double Vision. Do you know that double means two? So we are going to look at a slide that's going to show a bunch of pictures on it, uh -huh. and we. There's gonna be a bunch of pictures where there are two, where there are double of the items. We're looking for the one where there's only one. So you're looking for the picture where there's just one. Okay, just one. You understand this, Mr. David? <sighs> All right, let's do it. I think All I right. remember. Okay, let's here we go. Let's go, guys. You ready? All right. Here we go. All right. You're looking for mm. where there's one, a picture of one. Do you think you found it, Mr. David? Uh, yeah, but I'm still looking. Okay, I All think right, I found it. Go. I think we have like 10 seconds and then the oh, screen's see, gonna change. Oh, uh, there it there is. is. The game controller. Did you get that right, Mr. David? I caught it at the very end, but we got it. Okay, here's the next so, picture. Here Do you uh, see which one where there's just one? I see it. I see it, I see it. I see it. I Do you see friends, it. do you see it? There it is. There Fishy. it is. It's the fish. It's a fish. Woohoo! Did All you right. get that one right? Yes. All, All right. right, here's the next one. Let's see. Gosh, purple balloons. Those are so pretty. I see it. I see it. I see it. Um, oh, I, see, not, I, I can't find it yet. I can't find it. Oh, yes, the kid! Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay, your turn. Come on, you got to get. It. Come on, we got to do it. Okay, All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's see. Where's there one item on this? Oh, I think I found it, and it's making me hungry. <gasps> not the donut. Oh my gosh, that looks. I love donuts. I could eat donut every day. All right, here we go. Man, one. All right, here it is. I see it. I see it. You see it already? Right, yeah, I see it. Oh, I think I found it. It's something that makes us feel kind of cold. Yes. Did you find oh, it, friends? The snowflake. Snowflake. Woo, look at that. That looks pretty, doesn't it? Woo. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see. Where is the one where there's just I see one it. I see picture? It. One. I see it. One. Something one. does it. Oh, <laughs> the I missed doggy. it. There it is. The I lovely missed doggy. Uh, okay. Oh. 
Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Yeah, Where's there a one <laughs> item? I see two fish. I see, no, no, I see no, no, two no. paintings. I see, I see two cheese. Oh, question, question mark. mark. I missed that one, Melissa. What about you? I missed that one. How about you, friends? Did you get it? All right. Let's see this one. You don't know time to think. Yeah, Move on to the next one. Fast. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this one yes. I found already. Yes. I think it's no, no, no. I no, found no, it. No, I found it. Nope. Something oh, that comes out at oh, night. Oh, I missed it, Miss Melissa. Is that yes. the moon? That's the moon. Wow. All right. This one. Okay. This one has oh, two moons. I see it. I see it. And two donuts. And two it. question I marks. I got it. I got it. Where's the one item? Something blue. Something one. blue. One. Drop, drop, Something drop, blue. Drop, drop. Yep. Oh. There it is. A raindrop. Wow. That's. Or a drop of water. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, two doggies in the double cheese. Mr. David, you're so silly. <gasps> oh my goodness, there it is. It's red with little black dots on it. There it is. A ladybug. ladybug. Oh my goodness. Man. How are you guys doing so far? Man. You finding all these? I think I'm starting to see four of everything. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is getting a little double, crazier, double but it's going to be a little wild here. Yes. Uh, okay. Let me see. Where's oh oh balloon? Oh, 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 did you even see that one? No, I did not. Yeah, see that was that so one. quick. I was too busy yes. looking at the popcorn. Like that popcorn. Ooh, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's Look see. at this one. There's two Come. purple balloons there, there, on this there, there, one. There, two there, red there, hearts. There, there, two there, little there, puppies. There, two little there, footballs. There, there, two cheese. Oh, oh popcorn. popcorn! That always tastes good at the movies, Miss Melissa. Yeah. I love it with lots of butter. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> uh, let me see. We're going to... Where's the one? Just one. 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 I see two snowflakes. Oh, it's, oh. The, oh, it's the game controller again. Yes. Remember, okay, the first was, one was yeah, the game controller, was too. Okay. Okay. Um, this one has two game controllers. Da, 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 da. Two carrots. Popcorn. Not the popcorn. The fish, da, da. Uh, you guys see one? The, oh, it's oh, the it's heart. I oh, this parts. was so much fun, oh, guys. That, that was great. Mr. How'd you guys like this game? Oh, that was... Is this our last slide? Let's All see. Right. This is right. the last two, slide. Two, two, two. <gasps> oh, oh painting. it's painting. I love to paint sometimes. Oh, How about you? I do. Yeah, thank you guys great. for playing this. Yeah, thanks, kids. Wasn't that fun? I had Gosh, a we looked for two. Yes. We were looking at double vision where there's two and we found lots of things where there was just one item. Yeah. It went really fast, that was didn't great. it? great, woohoo, yes. Were you able to find things, even though it was so, so fast? That was fast, but we did it, Miss Melissa, we, yes, we did we it. Yes, we did. Oh my gosh. All right, All right. well, let's, we'll wait till next time, we'll play another game together, okay? okay. All right. All right. Looking forward to it. All See right. ya. Bye, guys. I'm thankful that you are watching our service today. I would like to remind you, to subscribe to our channel, Battle Kids SJ. When we hit 200 subscriptions, myself, Pastor Kaylan, and Pastor Jonathan, the kids' pastors, are going to spin the wheel of doom. And they have crazy stuff, their kids. But you know what? We are so excited to do that. Remember to invite your friends and your family, everybody that you know, to subscribe to our channel, Battle Kids SJ. Thank you for your subscription. Our service is coming to an end, but before I'm leaving, I would like to say a word of prayer for you and with you. Let's go to the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for teach us how to make wise choices. Thank you for all your blessings for my friends and for their family. Continue to give your favor to them, Lord. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Friends, I will see you next week. Until there, God bless you. Bye.